Jake and the Neverland Pirates Battle for the Book. Ahoy, mateys! Do you want to join Jake's pirate crew? Then just say the pirate password, Yo Ho Ho. As part of the crew, you'll need to learn the Neverland Pirate Pledge. Today's Pirate Pledge Good pirates always work together to get things done. Wendy reads to her brothers, John and Michael, from her storybook. Peter zigged and zagged as Captain Hook tried to grab him, but the bumbling captain soon lost his balance. Woof, barks Nana. Quite right, Nana, John says. Hook is a codfish. The children giggle as Wendy returns to the story. Far away in Neverland, Hook and his men see Wendy through a magic tide pool. They listen to the story, too. Then, Wendy continues, the silly captain fell into the Never Sea. Smee chuckles. The captain never was a match for Peter Pan. Her stories make me sound like a fool, fumes Hook. I'll take Wendy's book and destroy it. Men, set a course for London. The crew sews the ship's sails together, fills them with hot air, and the Jolly Roger floats all the way to London. Just as Wendy finishes her story, Captain Hook jumps into the room. I'll be taking this, he says, grabbing the book. Stop, you wicked pirate, yells Wendy, as the boys latch onto the book. But Hook yanks it away and jumps out the window. Wendy has to get the book back. All of her Neverland adventures are in it. But she needs help, so she sings a special song to call Peter Pan. Peter sees Wendy's signal, but he's a little busy. Tinkerbell offers to go to Pirate Island and ask Jake and his crew for help. Great idea, says Peter, handing Tink his hat. Jake and his mates are on the beach when they see something strange headed their way. Peter's hat, cries Jake. To his surprise, Tinkerbell flies out of the hat. Ahoy, Tink, says Jake. Where's the rest of Peter? Out of the hat comes Peter's voice, asking Jake to go to London and help Wendy. You can count on us, promises Jake. Tink covers Bucky with pixie dust, and the ship takes off. Yo-ho, shouts Jake. Let's go to London. Tinkerbell leads the way. Before long, Jake and his crew are soaring through the night sky above the beautiful lights of London. More pirates, John yells when Jake and his crew bound through the window. Stop right there, scurvy bilge rats. We're pirates says Jake, but we're also friends of Peter Pan. He's busy tangling with a sea beast, Izzy explains, so he sent us to help. Hook stole my storybook, says Wendy. I don't know why. Don't worry, says Jake. We'll get your storybook back. Everyone climbs aboard Bucky to find Hook in the book. Izzy loves the dazzling city lights. London is so magical. Just like Neverland, says Wendy. Michael is confused. What's a Neverland? he asks. It's where we met Peter Pan, Wendy reminds him. She's surprised that Michael could have forgotten that. As soon as Jake spots the Jolly Roger, Tinkerbell dusts everybody with pixie dust and they fly to Hook's ship. But when Wendy tells Hook to give back her book, he grabs a rope and swings down to the streets of London. So long, Poppin' Jays, he yells. Cubby, Michael, shouts Jake. Stay aboard the Jolly Roger with Scully. We're going after Hook. Aye, aye, answer the boys. Jake, Wendy, Izzy, and John drop to the city streets with Tink flying alongside. They search the city for Hook. Who are we looking for again? asks John. Captain Hook, Izzy says. He stole Wendy's storybook. Of course, replies John. I guess it slipped my mind. 
weird, says Izzy. First Michael forgets about Neverland, and now you forget about Hook. Just then, they see Hook on the wharf. As Jake is about to grab Hook, the Jolly Roger splashes down and throws everybody overboard, right on top of Jake and his friends. What are you ruffians doing? shouts a passing police officer. Me friends and I are being menaced by these ruffians, Hook says, pointing to Jake. The policeman arrests Jake and his mates, and Hook hurries back to his ship to head for Neverland. Wendy tells the officer that Hook tricked him, but he scoffs. Hook is just a made-up character, like Tinkerbell. Just then, Tink flutters up to the officer. Tinkerbell, he gasps. Well, don't let me hold you up, the policeman says. Go stop Hook. So the gang boards Bucky. Back to Neverland, says Jake. Second star to the right, and straight on till morning. Back in Neverland, Wendy takes everybody to Peter's old hideout. Inside is a room with tunnels that lead all over Neverland. Suddenly, they hear Hook's voice echoing through the tunnel that leads to the Valley of Fury. Inside the Valley of Fury is a ring of blue fire, Wendy says, gulping. That dreadful villain is going to burn my book. The gang takes the tunnel to the Windy Valley of Fury. See Hook anywhere? asks Scully. Who? says Wendy, puzzled. Cubby explains. The pirate in Neverland who Peter Pan... Never what? interrupts Wendy. Peter who? Now Wendy doesn't remember the story of Peter Pan, says Izzy. John and Michael don't remember either. At that very moment, Peter Pan arrives. Ahoy, mateys! Peter! shout Michael and John, instantly remembering him. How could I ever have forgotten you? asks Wendy. I know how, says Jake. The longer your storybook is gone, the more you all forget about your adventures in Neverland. Come on, yells Peter. We've got to get your book back. Just then, Captain Hook appears. Peter Pan? Captain Hook gasps. Peter laughs. You didn't think I'd miss all the fun, did you? Give me back my book, Wendy calls to Hook. Instead, Hook hurls the storybook into the fire. Luckily, a sudden gust of wind holds the book above the flames, but its pages get scattered in every direction. Wendy quickly grabs the book's cover. Then Tink sprinkles everyone with pixie dust. Mateys, save the pages, Jake says. Cubby and Michael chase some of the pages to Crocodile Creek and pluck them out of the air. John and Izzy follow other pages to the Tiki Tree Forest, collecting them as they go. Peter, Jake, and Wendy fly all the way to Skull Rock to collect pages. Let us not miss a single one, cries Wendy. Wendy gathers up nearly all the pages, but one is missing. Your storybook is magical, Peter explains. Without all its pages... None of us will remember the stories of our adventures. Jake finds the last page, but then Hook swoops in and grabs it from him. Why do I want this? Hook wonders. I have absolutely no idea. Puzzled, Hook reads from the page. Get the plank ready, Mr. Smee, bellowed Captain Hook. As he reads, a grin spreads across his face. What a dreadful fellow! I love this story, he says. These stories of me must never be destroyed. To everyone's surprise, Hook gives Wendy the missing page, and the book magically puts itself back together. Back in London, Wendy reads everyone a story. Jake had to stop Hook from destroying the book, but Hook was very sneaky. I love this story, says Hook. Wendy goes on, but Jake and his mates were clever. 
they foiled the captain and got the book back. The end. Everyone cheers, except Hook, who loses his balance and falls right out the window. Smee! he wails. Save me!